Shut up and sit down. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scott here. We're at, uh, well, this was, or is, Starlight Drive-In, but I've gotten rid of everything that was here. The big screen, the concession stand building, everything. And I built this big warehouse, or garage, actually, uh, a couple of videos ago, I put out a Minuteman War wa Battle Wagon, and I really liked it, and it got me thinking, you know, the Minutemen really need a place that they actually built it. And I remember a movie called Death Race that starred Jason Statham, and in that movie, they had this big garage area where they built this dreadnought uh, war wagon, battle wagon. So I thought it'd be cool to have that in the game, especially somewhere like Starlight Drive-In, which I was able to scrap everything. And I'm going to kind of build this whole place up as kind of a bit, Minutemen fort. Uh, and I'm going to start off with this because I really wanted this dreadnought garage uh, to really come out really cool. So you can see there I built a big building here i'll kind of take you around the outside first uh, we got the security fence up because it is a restricted area and the minutemen actually have their own tow truck now i thought it was pretty cool so then you know as you can see the the fence goes all the way around the shack with the workbench. I haven't quite moved it because I, I like where it's at, so I'm going to leave it back there. But I, I really wanted this to be a um, kind of a research development, you know, dreadnought garage for them. So I set it up as a restricted area. And you can see they got lots of junk around, you know, it's kind of a, just a garage. Then we'll come in a little bit closer to the building here, inside the fence. And we'll go around the outside of it before we head inside. I recently downloaded a, uh, it's not a new mod, but it's new to me. It's called Craftable Greebles, G-R-E-B-L-E-S. And it adds things like the big fan there and the storage towers and things like that. And things like this right here, these fans, which I really thought were cool. And it just added so much to my garage here. So then I wanted lots of, you know, spare parts, kind of a boneyard type feel on the outside to the place and of course I had to give them some facilities they could use while they were working so now let's go inside and check out the interior and the new dreadnought battle wagon that the Minutemen are constructing I guess we can start with the vehicle first. You can see this is going to be a big, a better version of the original, the Minutemen Battle Wagon. Uh, they've got, a, they've added a few better defenses to the front of the truck. Uh, you can see instead of the assault rifle, they have mini guns, uh, one on top of the hood and one on either side of the hood. They've added flamethrowers, which this gentleman here seems to be testing out to make sure that the flamethrower is is working properly they still got the metal spikes hanging out the front uh, they have refined the plow on the front rather than using the metal because I mean seriously if you're gonna drive this thing into battle and you're gonna drive it through a pack of super mutants or or raiders you want this kind of a protection on the front of your vehicle 
So they've added a couple of flamethrowers. They've still got the artillery hanging out the front there. Then you can see the minigun on the other side. And they've still got the armored wheels. We've got some more gentlemen here working on constructing this new monstrosity. Still got the mounted miniguns and things like that. They'll be able to fire on every direction, no matter where they're driving. And like I said, this one here is still under construction. In the back here, they've got a mounted anti-tank gun that they'll be able to shoot to e any direction around the back. And I'll kind of take you up inside of it and show you what it looks like on the inside. So they'll be able to... Their field of fire here. This minigun is yet to be mounted. So this is a little bit better version of the Minutemen Battle Wagon. I think we're going to call this one the Dreadnought. Now we'll kind of check out the garage itself. Of course it is for maintaining and, and building these weapons of destruction. So there are lots of tools around. You got the controls here to control the cranes running across here to help them out. And lots of workbenches and extra spare parts. Then we got some workbenches over here for them to work on. Then in here, I built them a little break room and an office. So they can sit in here at their break time and relax. Apparently, they've been drinking on the job. Hopefully, OSHA doesn't find out about that. And of course, being the wasteland, they're always under the threat of attack. So there's, you know, some weapons laying around that they can easily get to. I really like be building these um, battle wagons, uh, raider vehicles. Uh, there is a, a really big Mad Max feel to these, but I think it's really cool to be able to come up with uh, with a battle battle wagon. The only problem is, you know, I really want to drive that thing around and, and tear some stuff up. Or as the Minutemen have come to call this one, the Hall of Justice.
So I hope you all enjoy this because I had a lot of fun building it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. I appreciate that so much when you do. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave a comment below. Always happy to read feedback or answer any questions, any, anything anybody's got. And I think as far as the rest of this settlement will go, I mean, you can kind of see I've, I've kind of pretty much gotten rid of everything. Uh, I, I am going to build this, the rest of this settlement up as kind of a, like I said, a Minuteman fort, a uh, Minuteman outpost, something to kind of go along with the castle. But I really like doing this. Dreadnought Garage. The garage door, that's from uh, Snappy House Kit. As you can see, it does work. And then I use the Place Everywhere mod to blow it up, make it bigger, to make it fit into the doors. So hopefully I can get on these, uh, the rest of the settlement and get another video out soon. Because I really had fun with this one. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.